the number one biggest mistake while uh, people make while on the keto diet. That's what I want to talk with you very briefly about today. Um, so a lot of you guys who follow my page are just starting out on keto or um, are thinking about starting out or have even um, started on your health journey and haven't really figured out your path quite yet, but you're you're looking for ideas and inspiration and that kind of stuff. And, um, you know, I've done a lot of reading and research and I, I continue to do so. Um, and, and in talking to a, to a ton of you guys, um, I wanted to provide the feedback that I've read outside of our group and um, my friend group and all that kind of stuff and within it as well. Um, the, the feedback that you guys have given me once we really started drilling into it. Um, and the number one biggest mistake that people seem to make on the keto diet is eating a whole bunch of low quality protein whenever they want. Um, so one of the misconceptions about the keto diet is that it's low carb and whatever amount of protein you want. And that's not the case. So to be really specific, the ketogenic diet, um, in order to nutritionally get your body into ketosis, and or while using um, exogenous ketones supplements, the goal of the ketogenic diet is to get your body to that place of ketosis where it is transitioning from using uh, glucose and carbs for fuel to using fat for fuel. And the way that you can do that is by um, consuming the correct ratios um, of macros. And to really, really boil it down for, for people who don't know what macros are, it's the different um, components within your food. So the, the, the main macros are protein, carbs, and fat. And on the ketogenic diet, it's a low carb, high fat, and moderate protein diet. So it's not like Atkins. A lot of people are like, oh yeah, it's just, it's Atkins. I know what Atkins is. You know, you just eat all the meat and cheese and that's not the case here. What you're looking for, um, if you were to take whatever calorie intake you're targeting, and break it down by percentages for each of those macros, um, a really kind of perfect goal of what that should look like is, um, you know, 5% overall net carbs. Some do like five to 10%, um, 70 to 80% fat. So 70 per, to 80% of your calories should come from healthy fats. And that's, that's a high amount, but there's a reason for it. Um, and we can get into that in a minute. And then the rest of it, um, the rest of it would be the target percentage for your protein intake. So somewhere between like 15 and 25% protein, depending on what your other uh, macro targets are for what you're doing. And so the biggest uh, mistake that I see people making is just going and eating whatever amount of protein you want. Um, and not just protein, low quality crap protein. Um, when you really dig into some of the research about the ketogenic diet, um, there, there really is more of a preference for high quality meats. So it's a little bit hard to think about because on one side you hear people saying, well, I want you to focus on meats with high fat content. So if you're looking at beef and you're going to get in ground chuck, Go for the 80-20 beef that's got that extra fat. Um, go for the, you know, when you go to eat steak, don't eat a filet. Those are really lean cuts of meat. Go for the really marbled, um, extra fatty steaks because you need that fat in your diet. And you hear that, but if you think back to ground beef, a lot, you know, we've, we've been trained to think about ground beef being, oh, well, you know, the 93.7 is the higher quality meat and 80.20 is just, you know, the rest of the crap. And that's not necessarily the case. Uh, you can go out there and look for the grass-fed beef, for the, you know, the organic chicken, you know, look for higher quality meats and then eat them in moderation. You know, you think you know, high fat, low carb, moderate protein. Moderate is very similar to the word moderation. When you think about eating things in moderation, you're limiting them, but not starving yourself of them. So just keep that in mind um, when you're trying to plan out what you're eating in a day's period or in a week's period. And stop going after the crap meats. Um, you know, 
don't just sit at your desk and eat pepperonis all day. I do see um, a lot of people when they're tracking their macros and a lot of times for breakfast, you'll see some sort of um, deli meat or salami or pepperoni. Those things are fine. It's all fine and good, but don't make that your main source of protein every single day. Um, those aren't usually great quality meats. So, so just think about what you're putting into your body. Um, it's, it's not a free for all. Um, you don't go out and eat, you know, a pound of bacon every two days. <laughs> you don't want to go and eat five servings of chicken just because it's, you know, something that is keto friendly, just because something's keto friendly, um, and something that you can eat on the keto diet for one doesn't mean that you should necessarily. And it doesn't mean that, you know, it's a free pass to eat whatever you want, however much you want of it. So that's just the, the one thing I wanted to impress upon you guys to really start thinking about um, when, you're, when you're trying to figure out, you know, if you are stuck, if you're not seeing great results, just take it back to the basics and really start thinking about what are you actually putting in your body. And if you don't know, track it for a few days. If you don't know how to track it for a few days, ask me. Happy to help you. I'm happy to help you figure out what your macros target should be. Um, I'm happy to help you dig into what your overall health goals are and break that down into smaller bite-sized chunks that you can digest more easily and over a period of time. Um, I'm, I'm happy to help you figure out what your calorie targets should be um, for whatever kind of weight loss you're looking to do. Um, and, and, and think about this too. Um, for, for calorie target, it doesn't matter what kind of diet you do. I, I love the ketogenic diet. I, there's just so many health benefits from it. A lot of other diets out there work too. Um, they, they work differently um, and some work better for others. Not everybody is the same. But regardless of what diet it is, if you're trying to lose weight, especially if you're trying to lose a significant amount of weight, you can't just eat whatever types of food you want in the correct ratios. You need to create an energy deficit or a caloric deficit. So, um, you know, everyone's heard, maybe, maybe you haven't, but, um, you know, in order to lose a pound of weight or a pound of fat on your body, you have to have a deficit of 3,500 calories. So your body has to produce or burn 3,500 more calories than what you're taking in. And your body burns a lot of, uh, you know, calories on its own just from natural processes, um, regular organ function from sleeping. You're burning some calories while you're sleeping. And, and, and there's no magic equation for it. Every single body is different. Um, everybody's stress levels are different. Everybody's body composition is different. You have to figure out what that means for you and work backwards for that equation. But you've got to have, my point is you got to have a calorie or an energy deficit in order to lose weight. Um, I just prefer the ketogenic diet and then that process of ketosis where your body is really learning to go in and target fat for fuel. So after it burns through all of the food that you're consuming in a day, it starts using the fat on your body to fuel itself and in return, fat loss. Um, so anyway, um, I hope this was helpful for you guys. If you do have any questions, let me know. But start thinking about, really thinking about what you're putting in your body and how much of it. Have a good rest of your day.